Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't done a video in a while um, so I thought I'd just do this very short um, watercolour swatching video. I haven't really bought any art supplies for a while, just the odd one if I've been to the art shop and yeah I just did a small watercolour um, order on Jackson's and thought I would do a small swatching video for you. Um, I have a long list of art supplies of things that I would like to buy. Um, a big long uh, Jackson's wish list <laughs> going on which I really need to sort out. So I just thought I would um, start by buying ones that I think will fit in with what I'm doing at the moment and go from there. I'm using a lot of watercolour at the moment and wanted to buy a few more so I could do the type of work that I want to do with them which is going to entail you know getting a few more colours that I would like. Anyway first off it first off is Holbein Artist Watercolour and this is Davies Grey um, it was a five I'm not a five mil, 15 mil tube that I bought of this. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous um, grey green, basically. Like, I would say it would be good for like a stormy sea green. Would also work in the landscape as well, but very absolutely beautiful colour, quite unusual as well. The second one that I'm doing here is um, Holbein again. Grey of grey, this is a gorgeous, very pale, very pale grey, um, would make it a brilliant sky colour, again, or a help with a bit of a stormy sea, or a very, you know, like overcast sea, but yeah, that's a gorgeous um, pale grey, will come in really useful. Um, it's coming very useful for um, some work I've been doing in my sketchbook, which I am going to do a video on. Um, when I've finished doing what I'm doing with it, so that will be coming. So this one here is again Holbein, um, and this is um, yellow grey. And as you can see, it's it's not very grey, but it's um, like a muted ochre um, yellow uh, shade, and it's my type of yellow. I'm not very into bright yellows, but I do like this type of ochre earth toned yellow and this is an absolutely gorgeous yellow grey colour um, so they're the ones from Holbein I then got um, I wanted to get a metallic watercolour and I'd heard Natasha Newton on one of it was either a YouTube video of Natasha's or on her Patreon because I'm a patron of Natasha's um, Natasha mentioned these watercolours by A. Gallo um, never bought anything from A. Gallo before but they're available on Jackson's I think they have made watercolours and this one is a light fast metallic watercolour which you don't often get like light fast metallic colours basically so um, I only have metallic inks, metallic acrylic inks and you know they're fine if you are doing things in your sketchbook you know you don't have to worry about, about light fast um, ratings and things like that um, which I mean I'm only really working in my sketchbook at the moment so it's not um, that important for sketchbook it's not important at all for sketchbook work however you know if you do want to sell things um, original artwork you know you, you do need to consider light fast ratings anyway so this antique gold by A. Gallo um, is light fast and it's a gorgeous and Natasha mentioned it in one of um, her videos and um, it's been on my list for a while so I wanted to, to get a metallic watercolour and I thought well it's best to get one that I know will be fine so as you can see it's a beautiful antique gold very subtle with the metallic when you wash it out very subtle with shimmer and i do do a bit more um with less water in here you can see and very 
it takes a while to re-wet it but once it's um once it's re-wet it's absolutely beautiful and very very good quality watercolors mm -hmm.